Hi guys, it is me again. I have another adventure for you guys. I have decided to plant some persimmons. I have a friend who introduced me to persimmons. And yes, I'm a southern gal, I'm a country gal. And yes, I know that persimmons grow here, but um, she is actually Asian and she introduced me to the Fuyu persimmons. And they are absolutely delicious. My first encounter with persimmons was at a young age at my bus stop and there was a persimmon tree growing there and they drew they grew those little bitty persimmons and I just plucked one off the tree because it looked good and bit into it <laughs> and it was not a pleasant experience so um, I kind of swore off persimmons then at a young age I actually found this at an Asian grocery store and it's about I'd say four feet tall this is the variety Fuyu and in case you're interested, I'll show you the growing instructions. So here's my concern about this. Um, Fuyu persimmons, they grow, it says to zone seven. Well, normally here in zone seven, um, our temperatures in the winter don't get much lower than 10 degrees, but every now and again, we'll hit a cold spell. So I'm hoping that this will be hardy enough to survive I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to plant it right here in what used to be a raised garden bed. I'm going to put in fir bark mulch, and I found a video online that um, recommended pine bark mulch. Well, I don't have any, and I'm not going to go get any. I have this because I have a gecko, and I have this in the bottom of my gecko's cage, so I'm going to use my gecko's fir bark mulch. And also, I'm going to put some perlite in the hole. And you might be wondering why. And I do have clay soil, so I'm gonna put those two things in there to help with drainage. Something that I saw online is that the roots are gonna be kind of black, so not to worry if you don't see white roots. And I just wanted to show you what the root ball looks like here. So yeah, the roots are black. So I've placed my tree in the hole so as not to bury it any deeper than it was buried inside the pot. And now I'm going to backfill. And so there is my final product. This is my first attempt at growing a persimmon plant. So if there's anyone out there willing to share some tips or tricks, please comment below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll keep you updated on the progress of my persimmon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.